I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flag. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please, call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Oh, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. A 
I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about... visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. I do, but so not to Please forget. That's my. Mr. What? Sorry. You. I. I need to take this. Anything. Where's the hot fuck? Men. Yeah. As much. Fine.